Hey, it's Kathy. So with my new website name and brand Level Up RN, want to just share some tips and suggestions that may help you be a better nursing student or RN. So I've got a handful of ideas or suggestions for you today, and I will try to make more videos like this in the near future. So here's my first little tip. Don't assume that all of your patients who are older are hard of hearing. So I learned this the, the hard way. A lot of patients who are older are hard of hearing. So you end up coming in there and like really talking very loud and closer to them. So I guess I was on a roll with several of my older patients and I went into a patient's room who was like in their 90s and I started talking really loud like that in front of them. And they're like, can you tone it down? Can you keep it down? Like, why are you talking so loud to me? So that was kind of a wake up call. It was embarrassing. Um, and shame on me, right, for assuming that they're hard of hearing. So there's my tip number one. Don't assume all your older patients are hard of hearing before you start yelling or talking super loud you know, try talking to them in a normal voice first. Um, my second tip, really um, super important here, don't be afraid to ask for help if you don't know how to do something, you have questions about something, you're unsure about something. So uh, I was super fortunate when I was a new grad nurse and I went to night shift. I had an amazing uh, nurse mentor. Her name is Sarah Miles. And she's so patient and great. I asked so many questions. So she liked it. She's like, I didn't worry about you. There's other, you know, nurses I worry about when they don't ask anything. They're just off doing their thing. She kind of worries and hopes they're doing okay. But she never worried about me because I always ask questions. And I would really encourage you to do the same. If you're not 100% sure about a certain procedure or you have a question, ask. And your mentor nurse or your charge RN will hopefully be very accommodating and answer those questions. Sometimes you may get flack for it. Like I had, when I was a new grad nurse, um, my patient was getting tube feeding. I needed to change out the whole um, setup and set up a new, a new bag, new solution, everything. And I hadn't done it before. And I asked the RN who I was taking over from, I'm like, hey, do you mind like being there while I do it to make sure I do it right? And she, she totally gave me some shade. She was like, Are you serious? You haven't done that before? And so I just said, no, no, I haven't. I get that it may not be that hard, but the first time I do it, it's really like someone there to watch. So she rolled her eyes, you know. There's not a lot of nurses out there like that, but sometimes there are. So whatever, I, you know, I had to um, just, you know, push down the pride. Like, yeah, I want someone there because ultimately patient safety is number one. So I want to make sure I'm doing this right. So yeah, so I did it. It really wasn't a big deal, but I hadn't done it before and I don't want to just be off just kind of winging it. So she watched me. She was there while I did it and ensured that I did it right. And then um, I think it was like a week later, two weeks later, she goes, yeah, were you, you know, did I hurt your feelings the other day? And, um, and I'm like, yeah, you did. You know, you really did. So I, yeah, you made me feel kind of bad. So I was just honest with it. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. But, you know, I don't know how sorry. But she's kind of sorry. We actually get on great now. I come up as a wound nurse. She sees me. We have a great mutual respect. Um you know, but I'm more experienced nurse now, but when I was a new grad, I definitely got some shade and you just need to be ready for that and prepared for that. It's okay. The number one thing is that you're safe and that you're learning and you're asking questions and don't worry about those nurses who roll their eyes or whatever. Um, you, they'll come around eventually, hopefully. All right. Um, my next tip is to be friendly and kind to all the people around you. Because um, I'm a big believer in, in karma, right? If you're just nice to everyone and do good things, um, that stuff comes around. Like I feel like you you get good things that happen to you. So my little story here is I worked as a transporter 
while I was in nursing school. So this is um, a transporter is someone who moves patients from one part of the hospital to the other. So maybe from the emergency room to the floor to get admitted, or maybe from the floor to radiology to get x-rays and then back up to the floor. Just basically you're pushing uh, gurneys and wheelchairs all around. So I we used to park our gurneys down this long hallway, which we called the bowling alley. So I always park my gurneys there. Transporting is hard work. It's like eight hour shifts, but man, you are exhausted afterwards. I no need to work out on days that you work out, you work as a transporter because you're going to get your workout. But the hallway where I park my gurneys is there was a manager who worked there who had an office and um, her name was Helene. And I'd always just say hi, you know, and just say, hi, how's your night going? Or we see you in the hall. I just, I just wave. She found out, you know, I was a nursing student. And then um, later on, I became a new grad nurse. Well, then that wound nurse position came open that I'm in now. And guess who was the manager over that position? It was Helene. So she knew me. She knew me from parking gurneys in the hall and just being friendly. And she liked me. And so she really gave me a chance. Um, I didn't have any experience as a wound care nurse. But she had faith in me. She liked my attitude and she brought me in and they taught me everything I needed to know. So um, being kind, being friendly to everyone, it, it can open doors and it'll just come back to you. Okay. Um, my, and my next little tip, if you are a new grad nurse or maybe a new nurse, uh, maybe you're about to start an internship and you're assigned a preceptor, my advice is to bring some baked goods into work and maybe a nice little card saying thank you so much for agreeing to be my preceptor. I'm excited to learn and to grow and I just really appreciate you. And then, you know, bring some food in. So I did that for my preceptor. I think it meant a lot to her. Um, and in general, you can't go wrong with bringing food in. So nurses like love food so much. Halloween candy, baked goods, oh, they're so appreciative and thankful for that stuff. So if you want to make friends with your coworkers, bake some bread and bring that in, they'll love you. Um, but if you have a new preceptor, that's my little advice is just start things off on the right foot, you know, bring some bring something in for um her or him and have like a nice little note and when you're working with her or him make sure to ask lots of questions and just you know what would you do here or what's your advice really just take advantage of that time you have with the preceptor so those are my tips of the day i'm sure i'll think of more and as i do i'll write them down and when i have a handful i'll make another video okay so good luck with studying thanks so much